गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम गौरव गुप्ता इज योर मैथमेटिक्स टीचर टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेक सम मोर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एक्सरसाइज टू पॉइंट टू देन वी विल प्रोसीड टू आवर एक्सरसाइज टू पॉइंट टू दिस इज आवर सेकेंड लेक्चर सो आई रिक्वेस्ट टू एवरी वन प्लीज लिसन टू मी केयरफुल एंड देर इज नो नीड टू नोट डाउन द मैटर बिकॉज आई हैव गिवन टाइम टू यू टू टेक एज अ screenshot or make a note so we proceed to our first question our first question is the difference between the two number is 66 and the ratio of the two number is 2 ratio 5 firstly in this exercise so many questions based on the ratio so you must have clear your concept about the ratio what it actually say if you clear the concept what is ratio then you can do quickly such type of question based on the ratio suppose i have taken an example me and you and hi i have a ratio of one ratio to again i repeat i am taking an example of hi and you it means i divided by you it means i stands for me and you stands for you we have a ratio of amount that we have in our pockets which is equal to one ratio to it means what it indicates if i have 50 rupees and you have 100 rupees it means if we cancel out this what we will get 50 ones are 50 and 52s are 100 we get 1 divided by 2 1 divided by 2 it means 1 ratio 2 this indicate me and you have a ratio of money in the terms of one ratio two i hope you will be clear this concept i am going to take another one example if i have let like i have 250 rupees and you have 500 rupees what is zero will be cancelled out with zero and again 25 ones are 25 25 2s are 50 we will got 1 by 2 again ratio is 1 ratio 2 it indicates the ratio between me and you is 1 ratio 2 but we cannot find out the actually amount that we have because in first example i have an amount of 50 and you have an amount of 100 then the ratio is 1 ratio 2 now but today i have an amount of 250 rupees and you have an amount of 500 it means again we have a ratio 1 ratio 2 but the amounts are different in first case i have an amount of 50 rupees but now i have an amount of 250 so this amount can be vary but we cannot calculate the exact amount so such a question we have to take assumption we have to something assume that we have an amount after you will imagine you can calculate what is the actually amount do you have again i repeat in such type of question we doesn't know the actually amount that we have so we have to take amount to have to consider or we have to take assume we have to take assumption so please keep in my one ratio to doesn't indicates that i have 1 rupees and you have 2 rupees it indicates if we divides the money that i have and you we get a ratio of 1 ratio 2 but we cannot have the money so if you clear such concept then you can proceed to our question so in this we have to take firstly consider that we have so two ratios the one ratio two is not sure amounts let we have to take 
assume so in this case let with no two numbers is in the ratio of two ratio five it means if we divide the number one divided by two what we will get we get two by five but we cannot determine what is actually more because it indicates the ratio so we have to take some assume so i have take left two ratio five which is given we have to consider so that's why we have taken a variable x if we multiply this we get an amount x your any integer where x is your any positive integer so keep in mind whenever the ratio is given you have to take consider the numbers so we have take a variable x so in this we get an amount that first number is our is 2x and second number is 5x now what's the definition say the difference between the whole number is 66 difference means the subtraction if we subtract higher number with lower number we get a difference and that difference is 66 it means is clearly visible 5x is your greatest number and 2x is your smallest number and what will be the difference according to question what we have we have difference is equal to 66 and what's the difference 5x minus 2x is equal to 66 5x minus 2x which is equal to 3x equal to 66 if we take 3 on the left hand side right hand side then what we will got x is equal to 66 divided by 3 because 3 is multiply here so it goes to divide form we get 22 so the values of x we got 22 now what's the number our first number is 2x so our so first number is 2x 2x indicate to multiply x and x is your 22 So 2 into 22, which is equal to 44. This one is your first number. Your second number is 5x. Now substitute the values of x. X is 22. If we put and calculate, the number is 110. Please make, please make a note first. so i am going to take our next example which is quite difficult and quite lengthy so if you understand that basic then you can do such type of question as quickly so firstly you have to read the complete statement what it said devinshi has a total of 590 rupees it means devinshi is a girl and she has 590 rupees currency not it means she has a amount of 590 rupees in terms of she have some notes in that denomination of rupees 50 20 and 10 means she has some notes of 50 rupees 20 rupees and 10 rupees and if we add the total amounts she has 590 rupees now the ratio of Here again the same question we have given 
ratio of 50 rupees notes and 20 rupees notes is 3 ratio 5. So again the question is based on ratio. So you have to take some assume or you have to take some assumption. So let me take our number of notes because the number of notes is 50 rupees and 20 rupees. So let me take let number of fifty rupees not and twenty rupees not. We have in the ratio three ratio five. So we take three x ratio five x. So 3x indicates number of notes of rupees 50 and 5x indicates number of notes of rupees 20. But in this question we have 10 rupees notes also. But here we cannot find what's the number of 10 rupees notes. So first question is we have to find out the number of notes of 10 rupees. For this we have given if she has a total of 25 rupees, 25 notes. In this question, what we have, we have total number of notes, 50 rupees notes, 10 rupees notes, 20 rupees notes. If we add them, we get a total number of notes is equal to 25. So firstly, we have to calculate the number of notes of rupees 10. So use this statement. But we have, we have, we have number of not of rupees fifty plus number of not of rupees twenty plus number of not of rupees 10 which is equal to total notes and we know number of notes of rupees 50 number of notes of rupees 50 is 3x plus Number of notes of rupees 20, we have 5x, but we have not number of notes of rupees 10. So we take as this number of notes of rupees 10 is equal to total number of notes is 25. So 3x plus 5x which is equal to 8x so number of nodes of rupees 10 is equal to 25 so we have to calculate the number of nodes of rupees 10 so take 8x to the right hand side what we will got number of nodes of rupees 10 is equal to 25 here the sign of 8x is positive if we take it to right side then sign will be changed the sign will be minus 8x so this is your number of nodes of rupees 10 so in this case we have what we have got we have number of nodes of 550 rupees we have number of nodes of 20 rupees we have number of nodes of 10 rupees so please make a note first then we will proceed to our next step so let's proceed to our next step we already got 
नंबर ऑफ नोट ऑफ रुपीज नंबर ऑफ नोट ऑफ रुपीज फिफ्टी इज थ्री एक्स नंबर ऑफ नोट ऑफ रुपीज ट्वेंटी इज फाइव एक्स एंड नंबर ऑफ नोट ऑफ रुपीज टेन इज ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस एट एक्स Now we have to calculate the money of each denomination. In first column, I have a number of notes. These are the number of notes, and the value of one note is fifty rupees, twenty rupees, and ten rupees. And we have to calculate the money of each denomination. I am taking an example. Suppose I have example. I have two. Fifty rupees notes, five, ten rupees notes, and three, twenty rupees notes. Then what amount that I have? Suppose because I have two notes of fifty rupees, it means I have two notes fifty plus fifty, which is equal to I have hundred rupees in terms of Two fifty rupees note, and you can find out such type of result by using multiplication also. Two multiply by fifty. Two multiply by fifty, which is equal to hundred. Same here. I have five ten rupees notes. It means ten plus ten plus ten plus ten plus ten, which is equal to fifty. This can be easily calculated by using multiplication. Five into ten, which is equal to fifty. Similarly, we can calculate three into twenty, which is equal to sixty. Now, if I will add hundred plus fifty is one fifty, one fifty plus sixty is two ten. So I have an amount of two ten. Why I am taking this example? Because this example is similar to this. I have number of notes. In this we have number of notes. In this we have amount of one notes. This is the amount of one notes. Then we have to calculate the amount of each denomination. In which what we have amount in terms of fifty rupees notes, ten rupees notes, and twenty rupees notes. We can calculate by using multiplication. That's why I am taking this example. So proceed in such manner. We can calculate this. 3x into 50 because the number is multiplied with the number and 50 into 3 which is equal to 150 and x is your variable so it will be always in the form of multiplication 150 multiply x here 5 into 20 which is equal to 100 multiply x now multiply this firstly 10 is multiplied with 25 what we will get 250 now sign is negative Now 10 is multiply 8. What we will get? 80 and multiply by x because here 8 is multiplied with x. We get this one. If in this case we add the total money, so if we add them, we get total money. Firstly, we have to add x term. Here is 150 plus 100 minus 80. What we will get? 150x plus 100x. Minus 80x and amount is plus 25. Or you can write similar form plus 250 minus 80x. Now solve it. 150 plus 100, 250. And if we subtract 250 minus 80, what we will get? 170x plus me 250. And we have given. What we have, we have a total money which is equal to 590. It means we have a given total money is 590 rupees. So which is equal to 590? Now solve it. 170x is equal to 590 minus 250. We take right side to the 250. It will become in negative form. So 590 minus 250, what we will get? 340. Here we will get 170x. So if we take 170 in divide form, then x is equal to 340 divided by 170. Zero will cancel out with zero. 
17 1 the 17 17 2 the 34 what we will got x is equal to 2 so here we got x is equal to 2 and we have to calculate how many nodes of each denominator it means we have to calculate the number of nodes so please please make a note first so we have to calculate how many nodes it means we have to calculate the number of nodes and we already know the number of nodes of 50 rupees is 3x so number of nodes of rupees 50 is 3x and we know the values of x is 2 now substitute this value what we will call 3 into 2 which is equal to 6 now number of 20 rupees now which is equal to 5x so 5 into 2 which is equal to 10 similar number of nodes of rupees 10 which is equal to 25 minus 8x so substitute this value 25 minus 8 multiply by 2 what we will call 25 minus 16 which is equal to 9 so this one is your final answer please make a note first so no, now we are going to take question from our exercise 2.2 our first question is if you subtract 1 by 2 from a number it means I have to subtract 1 by 2 from a number but I don't know the number so first we have to let or first we have to choose whatever the number so first thing you have to take consideration so let number is x because we have to subtract 1 by 2 from a number and we have we don't know the number so I have to take let the number is x now I have to subtract 1 by 2 from a number so I have to subtract 1 by 2 from my number my number is according to caution I have to subtract 1 by 2 from my number and my number is x so I subtract 1 by 2 from my number now read next part and multiply it means we have to multiply the result result means if we subtract the number then we get another number it means this one is our result so we have to multiply our result multiply our result by 1 by 2 by 1 by 2 we have multiplied our result by 1 by 2 you get it means we get we get 1 by 8 again I repeat if you subtract 1 by 2 from a number but we don't know the number so let me first take our number is x so take number is x and subtract 1 by 2 so I subtract 1 by 2 so if I subtract 1 by 2 from my number then we get naturally 1 by another number for example if I have take number 5 if I subtract 1 by 2 from what we will get 4 and half so 4 and half is our result so again multiply it means we have to multiply by result so we have to multiply the result by 1 by 2 so that's why I multiply by 1 by 2 you get it means we get is equal to 1 by 8 so solve this and get the value of x so firstly if you have a number in terms of rational number p by q then try to make all the number in terms of p by q here is number in your x so we can write in terms of x by 1 minus 1 by 2 multiply 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 8 and you know the rules of multiplication 
numerator is multiplied with numerator and denominator is multiplied by denominator it means upper part is multiplied with the upper part and lower part is multiplied with the lower part so we have to multiply one by one each number firstly we have to multiply this what we will get x into 1 because upper part is multiplied with upper part x into 1 x divided 2 into 1 2 because here lower part is 1 and lower part is 2 now sign is negative now we have to multiply this number to this number 1 multiplied by 1 1 2 multiplied by 2 we get 4 which is equal to 1 by 8 now we have to got the values of x so make separate x and take all the terms to the right hand side so I have take 1 by 4 to the right hand side what we here get x by 2 which is equal to 1 by 8 this negative term becomes positive when I will take it to the right hand side now take it LCM what is LCM? 4 and 8 LCM is 8 so 8 1 is 8 so we get 1 plus 4 2 is 8 it means 2 1 is 2 but we will got 1 plus 2 which is equal to 3 divided by 8 so we have got x by 2 is equal to 3 by 8 now we have to calculate the values of x so take x as a separate and take all the terms on the right hand side if the term is in denominator then it comes in numerator and that the terms in numerator then it will come in denominator here we have to separate the x so we have to take the denominator term to the right hand side and denominator becomes numerator so this term remains same we take just only 2 to the right hand side we get in the numerator part so if we cut them 2 1 is a 2 2 4 is a 8 and what we will got 3 into 1 3 divided by 4 this one is your answer please make a note so now, now I am going to take our next question question number is 2 what it say it say the perimeter of a rectangular swimming pool it means we have a swimming pool and it's the shape of a rectangle and we have to give its perimeter so don't waste our time to write or you have to note what you have given because if you have given a statement then you have not need to note down the whole statement firstly you have to take some portion and get the information what we have given and draw according its diagram and write what we have given because in this we have given a rectangular swimming pool then what comes in our mind rectangular so we know the shape of rectangle is this this is length breadth then breadth and we already did the same question in our example the perimeter of a rectangle is what's the perimeter formula is 2 multiply length plus breadth and the perimeter of a rectangular swimming pool is it means we have given the perimeter so we can put perimeter is our firstly you have to write what type of information you have to given we have perimeter is 154 meter now read the next part its length is 2 meter more then twice its breadth it means length is depends on the breadth so you don't know the breadth if we don't know something we have to take its assume so let we have take let breadth 
because length is depend on breadth according to statement so we have to consider firstly breadth let breadth is b or you can assume as x or y maybe suppose x meter what i assume breadth is x meter now read this statement and find out its meaning it said its length it means we are talking about length length is 2 meter more more means add 2 meter more plus then twice twice means two times two times its breadth and breadth is x again i repeat the question read its length this one is your length is equal to 2 meter more it means 2 plus 2 plus twice twice means two times two times its breadth and breadth is x so we put x and what we will call we call 2 plus 2 into x 2 x this is your length this is your breadth and this one is your perimeter put all the values in equation 1 now put the values put the put these values in equation first there is perimeter and we have no perimeter is 154 now is equal to 2 multiply length and what's the length 2 plus 2x plus breadth and breadth is x now we have to solve this so to solve 154 is equal to 2 multiply 2 2x plus x which is equal to 3x now i am solving here this one is your 154 is equal to 2 2 plus 3 x now we have to solve it firstly we have to take 2 which is in terms of multiplication if we take it to the left hand side then it becomes in divide form 154 divided by 2 which is equal to 2 plus 3x if we divide 154 by 2 what we will get 2 7 to 14 2 7 to 14 77 which is equal to 2 plus 3x take 2 on the right hand side 77 minus 2 which is equal to 3x 77 minus 2 75 which is equal to 3x now take x separate so we have to take 3 on the left hand side 75 divided by 3 is equal to x and if we divide 75 by 3 what we will got 25 so we get the values of x and we have to calculate the length and the breadth now we know breadth is x and we get the values of x is 25 now we have to calculate length 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 is 2 plus 3x 2 plus 3x now substitute this values 2 plus 3 into 25. What we get? 25 into 3, 75. 75 plus 2. Oh, sorry. 3 into 25. 75 plus 2, 77. Please make a note first. So your length is what's the length? 
length is 2 plus 2x not this our length is this is your equation this one your length length is 2 plus 2x which is equal to 2 plus 2 into 25 and 25 into 2 50 50 plus 2 which is equal to 52 meter that's your final answer please make a note first so let's we proceed our next question question number is third what it say the base of an isosceles triangle so we have to read small section the base of an isosceles triangle it means we have to try to make its diagram we have a given an isosceles triangle and we know about the isosceles triangle what is isosceles triangle is any triangle which has two sides are equal which is called an isosceles triangle so firstly i draw i am drawing an isosceles triangle So this one is your isosceles triangle. You are clearly visible. This side is equal to this side, and this is your base. It means this side base is different, and these two sides are equal. If I take A, B, C, it means A B is equal to A C. Both sides are equal, but we don't know the values of each side. So, firstly, I have to take its value by taking an assumption. So, let AB is equal to AC is equal to X. I am take a zoom. Now, what is good? The base of an isosceles triangle is, it means we have given base. base is equal to 4 mixed fraction 2 by 15 if we solve this 15 for the 62 15, 15 for the 60 plus 2 62 divided by 15 centimeter this one I have also taken in centimeter now the perimeter and we know the perimeter what's the perimeter I solve here and we know the perimeter. Perimeter is basically the sum of the three sides. So in this case we have to add AB plus BC plus CA. This one is the base and we know AB which is equal to X. BC which is our base and we have base 62 divided by 15 plus C A C A or A C which is also equal to X so that's I am taking here X what's the definition say the perimeter of the triangle is it means we have given perimeter what's the perimeter sorry again I am reading the base of an isosceles triangle is your base is 4 by 3 centimeter. This one is your base is your base of an SS cells triangle is 4 by 3. 4 by 3 centimeter. So I am taking here 4 by 3. The perimeter of the triangle is it means we have given perimeter is 4 mixed fraction 2 by 5. So perimeter is 4 mixed fraction 2 by 15 which is equal to 62 by 15 meter it means we have given perimeter so put it here 62 upon me 15. again I will I am taking perimeter perimeter is the sum of the whole side I am taking the sum of the whole side AB is equal to X AC is equal to X so I am taking here X 
and BC is your base and we have given base is 4 by 3 4 by 3 and what's the perimeter? Perimeter is 4 mix fraction 2 by 15 so that's why I am taking 62 by 15 here now we have to solve it and get the values of x so do solve x plus x which is equal to 2x plus 4 by 3 now I have to take we have to find out the values of x so we have to separate x and take all the terms on the other side so x is here so we have to take 4 by 3 on the left hand side so i'm solving here 62 by 15 s sign is positive if we take it on left hand side the sign becomes negative which is equal to 2x now taking LCM which is 15 15 by 15 which is equal to 62 3 into 5 5 falls are 20 but we will go 42 by 15 if we cut them 3 fives are 15 3 ones are 3 and 3 falls are 12 it means we get 14 by 5 which is equal to 2x now we have to calculate the values of x that's why i am taking 2 on the right hand side 45 here it is in terms of numerator it will becomes in denominator so 2 into 14 7 so we get the values of x is 7 by 5 centimeter this one is your final answer please make a note so let's take our next question sum of two number it means we have to add two numbers is 95 it means we have two numbers and if we add them we get a total of 95 if one exceed the other it means we have given condition one number is exceed the other for example if i have 10 rupees and you exceed my from my and 15 rupees more again i repeat that question in this question if say if one exceed the other it means if i have 15 rupees or i have 10 rupees and you have exceed the amount that i have by 15 rupees it means 10 plus 15 which is equal to 25 again i repeat let I have 50 rupees and you exceed the amount by 15 rupees that I have it means you have exceed it means you have 50 plus exceed by 15 it means 50 plus 15 is equal to 65 it means you have 65 we have to apply the same concept here here first number is greater or exceed the second number by 15 so let first number is x then what will be the second number second number is equal to x plus 15 because one exceeds the other by 15 it means we have got both the numbers and this statement say sum of the two number is 95 it means we have to add the two number so according to caution sum first number plus second number it gives us a sum of total 95 our first number is x and second number is x plus 15 which is equal to 95 now x plus x which is equal to 2x plus 15 we have 95 
Now we have to calculate the values of x. That's why I am take I have to take 15 to the right hand side. So this is 2x. Take 15 to the right hand side. Then sign of the 15 becomes negative because here it is positive. What we will got here? 95 minus 15, which is equal to 80. Now we have to calculate the values of x. So we have to take 2 to the right hand side and here it is in form of numerator and it will goes to denominator 80 divided by 2 which is equal to 40 it means our first number is first number is your x and what will be the value of x is 40 it means answer is your 40 Second number is x plus 15. It means 40 plus 15, which is equal to 55. So 40 and 55 are the these two numbers. Please make a note. So let's become our next question, which number is 5. Two numbers are in the ratio. Again, the same question we have given the question in terms of ratio. We have to first take let the ratio of two numbers in ratio 5 ratio 3. So, what's the number? Let the number is first 5x and second one is 3x. Same. Now read. If they differ. Differ means if we subtract them, we get a total of 18. So, differ. Difference means difference. So, according to question, their difference. Difference is equal to 18 and how we get the difference subtract higher number minus lower number here higher number is 5x and lower number is 3x which is equal to 18 5x minus 3x which is equal to 2x is equal to 18 now we have to calculate the values of x so we have to take 2 to the right hand side and it is here in numerator then it will go to the denominator 18 divided by 2 which is equal to 9. This will be the values of x. Now the number is or first number is 5x. It means 5 and the values of x is 9. So 5 9 is a 45. This one is your first number. Your second number is 3x. It means 3 multiply x. 3 into 9 which is equal to 27. So your second number is 27. Make a note first. So let's become our next question which says it's very easy. 3 consecutive integers and you know what's the consecutive numbers. Consecutive numbers are continuously number. If I start from 5, then what will be the consecutive number of its? If I am talking to 2 consecutive number, 5 next one is 6. Next one is what? 7. So the number is 5, 6, 7. So 5, 6, 7 are the consecutive number. Again, I repeat, consecutive number are the number which have only difference is 1. So we have to take any one number and we have to start not compulsory to start with one you can start with any number if i start with 500 then what will be the consecutive next two number 501 502 so let's we have we have to take our three consecutive numbers so let i am starting my first number is x let first number is x then second number is x plus 1 because first number is 5 
Send second number is 5 plus 1, 6. So x plus 1. Third number is again we have to add 1. Plus 1. It means we have these three conjugative numbers. These are three conjugative numbers. Now, these three conjugative integers add up to q. If it means if we add them, we get a total of 51. So let's be add. So according to our caution, there sum is equal to 51. So first number is our x, second number is x plus 1, third number is x plus 1 plus 1, which is equal to 51. Now we will add x plus x plus x, which is equal to 3x, 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is equal to 3, we get 51. Now we have to calculate the values of x, that's why we have to separate them to take 3 on the right hand side. Here 3 is positive, on right hand side it becomes negative. 51 minus 3 which is equal to 48. Now we have to calculate the values of x. Here 3 is multiplied with x, it goes to the denominator. 48 divided by 3 which is equal to 16. It means b dot x is equal to 60. So, what are the numbers? So, your answer is first number x and what's the values of x is 60. Your second number is x plus 1. It means 16 plus 1 which is equal to 70. Then third number is 16 plus 1 plus 1 which is equal to 18. So 16, 17, 18 are the three consecutive numbers. So make a note first. So let's we proceed to our next question. Question number is 7. What it say? It says the sum of the three consecutive multiple of 8. It is same as we have already did in example. The multiple of any number. What's that number? First number, we have to take consecutive. So, same here. Let first number is x. Again, I revise multiple of 8 is 8 into 1, which is equal to 8. 8 into 2, which is equal to 16. 8 into 3, which one is 30, 24. 8 for the 32. So, if I take starting from our first number is 8, then second one is 8 plus 8 which is equal to 16. Third number is 8 plus 8 plus 8 which is equal to 24. These are conjugative multiple of 8. But here we not, cannot start from 8, but because the number may be start from anywhere. So I have to take it start from this x. If the next number will be, if I select 8, the next number is 8 plus 8, we, because we have to take multiple of 8. So we have to add 8. Our second number is x plus 8 our third number is we have to add again first I repeat because 8 ones are 8 8 to the 16 it means we have to add 8 if we get the multiple of 8 so first number is if I select 8 then we have to add 8 8 plus 8 16 so now in this case I have select x because our number may be start from anywhere I suppose our first number is x. Then what's the next number? 
So x plus 8. Then what will be the next number? x plus 8 plus 8. So these three are conjugative numbers multiple of 8. These are the three conjugative number multiple of 8. Now, sum, it means we have to add. Now, please add that. First number plus second number plus third number. Add them. We get triple A. Triple A. So, first number is X. Then, second number is X plus 8. Then third number is x plus 8 plus 8, which is equal to 8, 8, 8. Now add x plus x plus x, which is equal to 3x. Now 8 plus 8 plus 8, which is equal to 24. 8, 8, 8. We have to calculate the values of x. So we have to separate. We have to take 24 on the right hand side. What we will got? Triple 8 minus 24. If we subtract then 8 minus 4, 4. 8 minus 2, 6. 8. As it is, now we have to calculate the values of x. We have to take 3 to the right hand side. It goes to the denominator. Now divide this to the 6. 3 is a 24. 3 is a 24. It means we get x is 2, 8. 8. So our first number is answer your first number is your 2, 8, 8 because our first number is x. Then second is 2, 8, 8 plus 8 which is equal to 2, 9, 6. So third number is 296 plus 8 304. That's your answer. So, make a note. First, if you like my video, so please do subscribe so that you get all the notifications of my new video. And if you like, really like, so do subscribe as well as share to your friends so that all your friends gets the benefits of this lecture. I hope you will be satisfied to my lecture. So we will meet to take our next video for watching my video. Thank you.